Thank you, David. As was touched on earlier, Terex washing systems equipment has evolved over decades to become the world leading product it is, it is today, with the Green Line range being a further involvement to tailor this core equipment specifically for the wash recycle market. One of the newest products to enter the range is the AgriSan 206 Green Line. The original AgriSan 206 was launched in 2014, following on from the success of the smaller AgriSan 165. Since then, it has established itself as a market leader in modular sand and gravel washing while also having the versatility to be used in numerous wash recycling applications which many of you will have spotted from the video footage previously. This new AgriSan 206 Green Line is a culmination of product enhancements that make up the next generation AgriSan 206, paired with the unique design features to tailor the machine specifically to process the difficult and challenging materials common to the wash recycle applications. So let's take a closer look at the configuration of this AgriSan 206 Green Line to understand what all that means. Starting as ever with the feeder, what you see here is the brand new H30 feeder option. This high capacity 30 meter cube feeder increases the range of feeders available for the AgriSand from the standard H12 up to this H30. It comes with either a steep fixed grid as shown or a lower feed height tipping grid. It is fitted with a high efficiency direct electric drive system that even with the hydraulic tipping grid option has a power requirement of less than 8 kilowatts. The feeder speed and tipping grid functions are controlled by the operator by remote, allowing single operator operation. Moving on to the main conveyor, the dual drive main conveyor is fitted with this overband magnet and as with all the green line solutions it is aiming to remove as much ferrous metals as possible at this early stage of the process. Stainless steel sheet work helps divert rejected material away from the side of the conveyor. The high capacity seed wash box introduces a high volume of water to fluidize the material while containing all the material and presenting it uniformly onto the 20x6 screen. Note the water supply to the wash box is independent of the spray bar system, allowing more control and the ability to increase the water volume without compromising spray bar performance. This is facilitated by the new onboard ring main. Independent supplies are required for the wash box, screen spray bar system, and the dual tank top ups, this ring main has been specifically designed to manage the distribution of multiple flows from a single water supply. The design has been optimized using CFD software to minimize turbulence and thus inefficiencies through pressure losses. The 20 by 6 3 deck is a proven high performance rinsing screen fitted with isolated spray bars and polyurethane media on all three decks. Utilizing the split bottom deck approach to produce two grades of sand, the rubber line catch box is supplied as standard with adjustable division plates that allow the customer to control the amount of fine sand that is sent through to the new double wash system, which I will demonstrate in a minute. As you will see, the aggregates from the 20 by 6 rinse and screen are discharged into a rolling chute, where you have the ability to blend both the top and middle deck or the middle and bottom deck to create a specific aggregate for your application. While the core screen box is the same, we have made some design updates to reduce maintenance time for our customers. As you will see, the drive motor is now mounted on a self-adjusting rusted mounting table, dampening movement during startup and shutdown. Secondly, we have introduced an easy spring replacement feature to eliminate the need for lifting equipment and reducing potential downtime. This short animation will demonstrate how it works. The animation demonstrates how a maintenance bolt is used to contain the spring while the smaller top retaining bolts are removed. Slowly releasing the spring which is then replaced, providing a safe and controlled method of replacement. In wash recycling, high levels of silt and clay are common in the sand fraction, thus the ability to wash the fine sand twice is a necessity. This AgriSand 206 Green Line utilizes dual tank and double wash separator technology to achieve this. The separators provide high performance consistent silt removal while having the flexibility to automatically adjust to variations in gradation and throughput. While the onboard dual tank system is cleverly packaged to keep a compact footprint and modular design for easy transport. The fine sand from the first section of the rinsing screen is transferred to one side of the dual wash tank, where it is pumped to the primary wash separator. The underflow is then collected and flushed into the second side of the dual wash tank, where more water is added. This is then pumped to the second wash separator for the final wash. The sand is finally discharged onto the high capacity 14 by 60 water screen where spray bars can be utilized to give it a final rinse before the sandy waters and discharges onto the radial sand conveyors. As you will see throughout the plant, Terex washing systems provides unrivaled levels of access as standard, 
with walkways and access points to all the key areas of the machine, and clever maintenance features such as the rollout pumps, which is carried through the entire AgriSand range. If you have any more questions on the AgriSand 206 Green Line, please submit them and we will answer at the end of the webinar, or contact us after the event via the normal channels. At this point, I'll hand over to Fergal.